So we're gonna knock out a couple of these. And then head off to probably pick up oh, there's some stuff over there. Hey there. Well, passed it up. Here we go. Man, there's a lot of them. Oh, boys. The problem is they, they they're so mobile. See what I'm saying? Like the back away. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, just get some of that health back real quick. Let's take a look up here. Something. Oh, harpies. And this dog that's stuck in this mound. Down here. Ashes I don't care about, but what about this? Eh, I'll take it. Well, we're gonna be fighting harpies. So harpies are ridiculous annoying to fight, if I remember correctly, unless you're out on the water. Because they will dive bomb into the water. And then you can one shot them with the, the crossbow. Interesting. So if you knock him down, I guess you can get a one shot on him. That's cool. Come on, boys or ladies, I guess, since they are harpies. There we go. Anybody else? I guess we just take some harpy stuff since I don't have any. Oh, they have mutations too. Oh, what is that? That looks like a really big harpy. Treasure. What are you? Oh. Oh shit, what is that? Basilisk. Well. Level 14. He's probably gonna one shot me if he gets a chance. I'm doing like no damage to it though. Oh, it actually didn't hit me as hard as I thought it would. I could take it. Shit. As long as I keep Quan up, it's gonna ruin my sword. It's, it's absolutely gonna tear my sword up. A dick. Pip, 
blocks I need to get out of there. Ow. Come back. I didn't, I didn't have the damn thing loaded. Could just go see what it's guarding. I figured that was going to happen, so we're going to have to leave this one alone until I'm a little, uh, a little higher level. Not because I can't survive. Like, I was, I was playing fast and loose there because I didn't think I could get it before my sword broke, but because my sword will break. And we're back here. Uh, we need to go... I need to go fight all those harpies again anyway because I want there was like a, a thing so that that is that and I think I know what that is uh, we're gonna have the same problem here because I believe there's a griffin or another basilisk here but there's loot as well it's part of a quest to find specific witcher gear I'm gonna leave it alone for now and I'm just gonna go Whoa. Up to where we fought the dogs to get what was in that chest. Which means we're probably gonna have to fight the dogs again. Chill. Feels like there's more of them this time. Can you guys let me? Wow, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> could, have, could have been a problem. Grab all that. And then we'll head out. So what we're going to do is instead of going up there because there's a basilisk there, it's level 14, I'm pretty sure there's another basilisk or a griffin there. We can go check on this. There isn't a question mark there, but it's a building and it might have something. So 
let's go over there. So this game, unlike the other two, is focused on exploration. Whereas um, what you guys saw with The Witcher 2 was that it was all like linear, kind of, just with a little bit of with a little tiny bit of exploration. I think this area is associated with a cutscene later on. So there's nothing to do here now. I'll tell you what, we'll f go over here and then we'll come back here and fast travel somewhere closer to uh, where shit's actually happening. Might not be able to get there easily. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can pass travel. Take from here. it easy. There's some bad guys outside somewhere. Hey, look at that. A better crossbow. It's locked. I don't see a key anywhere, so this might be associated with some kind of a quest later, too. Let's take a look at that crossbow. Doink. Also, I am running out of, uh, of space. Like I'm 51 of 60. So let's go ahead and fast travel. Where should we go? We can go back to the end of the crossroads and take and check these out. I kind of want to leave the. The, the way this map is set up, like in regards to leveling, level ranges, is not, it doesn't make any sense. So it's not like, oh, we don't want to go north because it's higher level, or we don't want to go south because it's higher level, because that's not really the way it works. Um, but we should be heading toward here to, fin to like, continue quest, right? Uh, I guess let's go to Heatherton so I can go down here. And then we'll swing back toward the end of the crossroads and hit these. Where are you, buddy? And what it looks like is... Um, your weapons and armor take more wear if you're fighting things higher level than you. It didn't take very long for the sword to kind of get fucked fighting that basilisk. This road is actually going to take me to where? Oh, I guess it does. In your guts, eh? right the sword out. Oh boy. That's not the guy I wanted to attack, but I'll take it. Maybe we'll get this archer. Boy, oh, I guess it's just the big axes you can't block. Oh, 
one, boy. Nailed it. And now that sword is uh, is looking pretty rough itself. What do we got in here? That's it for that. And this is probably the payoff right here. Nope. I mean, it says I looted it. There just wasn't anything good in there. that so I'm not gonna fuck with that right now we're gonna check out what's that uh, I must yeah I'm over encumbered that's fine because Roach can still ride faster I don't think there's ever a you can't pick that up because you're over encumbered. It just makes you walk slow. And we've got a little like town there. I'm pretty sure that I can't um, use its facilities like its shop and whatnot until I don't know why I'm following the quest marker until I deal with a few things there, so I'm not going to go in there just yet. What's oh, a nest? A nest of what? Ghouls. It's the wrong sword. like you actually oh shit that hurt unless I just didn't know I didn't heal from the soldiers or the bandits oh boy well let's bust down that fucking nest ghoul nest ought to just destroy it special. It's a bunch of ashes. And a ruby, which I'll take. Okay, what we need to do is uh, go somewhere where I can get rid of some of this stuff to sell. I don't think any of this stuff is going to be better than the Viper stuff for now. So let's see. Uh, this is technically a town. So we're going to go to that. I just need to, oh. Well, maybe even that. Let's see if I need to go north onto the road. level even am I? Level four. <laughs> okay. I believe this is the road. Yeah, that'll take me at least to here. We can see if there's a shop there. 
not, we'll have to end up going back. I don't, I don't know if there was a shop at the end of it. Hello? Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox take and profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, and kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. All right. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent thee to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fighting evil? That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. I don't know about that, but... Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods. Everything's out of the way in these parts. You look awful. Hey, yeah. Am I going the right way still? Yes. Faster. Are you guys bad guys? They don't seem like bad guys. There's a shop. Buy in or just peruse him. Roach, come on, buddy. Show me what you've got on offer. Yeah, get out of here, Roach. Oh my god, he's not buying this for very good. Or very much. Oh, but he's got a map of some kind. Adelbert Kermith's. First map. Yeah, why not? I'll buy it. Let's see if I can beat him in Gwent. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Okay, he's, he's using the Nilfgaard in as well. I'm going to redraw one of those. Ranged combat. I feel like I should keep one of these. But I like all my other cards. Especially these guys. So I'm gonna redraw both of those. Alright, I'm gonna try a new tactic, and that is to overwhelm him in the first round and hope I have some cards to beat him on the second. If I overwhelm him on the first round, using a lot of my cards, it'll make him use a lot of his cards too, unless he passes. If he passes, then I win that round anyway. So we're gonna go back row first. And if I have to use that fog, I will. Looks like he's second row heavy. to make it so he doesn't have to use his damn or uh, so he runs out of cards but I've already got 22 and he's down to 4 so he's going to have to use a lot oh well there we go this might backfire though because he's got a lot of cards to beat me on this next round oh I drew another fog cool why not And those fogs are going to be useless because I'm going to have to use some of these. I think he's got me. 
but we'll see. Because these cards aren't exactly slouches, these fives. And my fogs would detri or like be more detrimental to me than him because I've got two cards and I get one. I would lose nine and he would lose seven. Oh, that sucks. I should have kept a clear day. Yeah, he's got me. Pretty sure this is just a fog, so I have three fucking fogs. He got me. That's a shame. Should have kept a clear day. Unless I draw a card, which I don't think I do because I have to I have to win a round to draw a card. We'll come back. What I need to find is a blacksmith. I have to hope they have a blacksmith here. Wild hunt, take them all. Try to win them all. You won't. We can see what this guy's selling. There's a blacksmith. I'm gonna skip this guy. I need to, what I need to do is buy some cards. Uh, but I need to repair. I need to sell all this stuff. Yeah? Craft special order weapons too? Do politicians murder high class prostitutes? Of course. I'll take a look. Maybe pick something. Alright, he's only got 272. But, he's buying this stuff for more than the other guy, so that's good enough. Sell all the way down to where he's got nothing and then repair. Although I don't think I'm going to get down to. Yeah. Uh, I've been selling these two, the ones that I don't use. Like, Chance of Stagger is important. Adrenaline Point Gain, I don't really care about. Chance to Stun is very important. Chance to Freeze is very important. Armor Piercing, I guess, would be cool, but we're going to sell it. And then I need him to repair my stuff. 173 for everything. This is going to go along sort of mastercrafted silver sword. But it's level 16. And he's got another one of these. Second map. We'll take that. I think that's good for now. Can't use any of that. Yeah, all right, we're good. And we'll try him out too. Why not? Up for a few rounds of Gwent. Would have been nice to get a clear day out of it, but I do have the, uh, the fog. Should I need it? Let's put these guys down. gets to the point, if he gets a really high number and then 
Oh, we got more cards. That's so annoying. I am gonna fog him though. That'll force him to either pass or use more cards. I don't know that he's got what it takes to beat me right now. But if I pass and he pulls out some crazy shit, then I'm screwed. I don't have anything in my graveyard now, so using that will be pointless. Using that will be pointless because I've fogged. Let's put one catapult out. He's got to get 12 points to beat me with four cards. Ooh. Yeah, you, can't, you can't beat me. Well, I won. Put that down. Pass. Nailed it. Did I get a card from him? Yep. All right, cool. All right. What you got, buddy? Greetings. Salutations. Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As have I, as do I. Not the best place for a traveling peddler. Profits lie amidst risk. True, the wars brought strife and hardship, but folk live on, and where there is life, there is trade. Prepared to risk your life for a bit of coin? Coin, my friend, is of little import. Hard as I try, I simply cannot remain still, so I wander and wander the world. I see new places, speak with folk I've never known. It's what I like, and that's worth the risk. Take See if he's offering any mind. cards, any special cards. No cards, but I can sell pelts and junk. Even though I don't think they weigh, any, they do weigh something. There was, I don't know if there's like a sell junk button, but I haven't marked anything as junk anyway. We need to get rid of like stuff like this. It's just weighing me down. I want to hold on to this stuff because I can break it down for silver. I can break these down for like iron and whatnot too, but iron seems more plentiful. I think we're good here. The food doesn't weigh anything, so we'll hold on to it. Crafting items don't weigh anything. Alchemy items don't weigh anything, so we're good. Thanks, buddy. Oh, what was he selling? Nothing spectacular. Out this piece. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Then the other shopkeeper, I didn't look to see if he sold any cards. Ah. Buy in or just per Show me what you've got. No. Alright. So long. Come on, Roach. Okay. So where was it that I was I had targeted? down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and head down there. We'll go south. Hey this should take me essentially right to it. 
And maybe we'll get into some shit along the way. Who knows? Gonna kill you. So late, Come on, boys. Kill this guy. Ah, it takes so long to swing. I could just get off an igneum all. We'll do that. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. He's dead. Come on, boy. He was burning or bleeding or something. I'm gonna stop taking like the stuff like the blunt axe and whatnot because they only sell for one. Nope. Roach. Dumb fucker. Why are you running from me? Faster. This guy. Kill him, strip him, and dump him in a ditch. Come here, boy. <laughs> All right. I guess he was part of that group, and uh, just didn't want to. <laughs> didn't want to join the fight. Stay on Roach. Come on, buddy. The trees swaying in the wind is cool. Oh, we got an armor here. So that's cool. Oh. Let's take a look at their motor notice board, though. Old Miller's gone mad. Running around the yard, nothing but his nighties, yelling horrible ludities, and smearing mud pies on anyone who walks close to the fence. Best avoid the place. Okay. The folk took no advice from the peller. When our Rosso felt, felt weak, he said to put on a pine plank and stick it in the fire bread oven. They counted to a dozen three times. When we pulled her out, she had burnt to a crisp, and there was nothing left but the, to bury the charred bits. The peller refused to give back the three hard boiled eggs we'd given him. All right. Don't eat cats. That's probably a good idea. The kind of people don't eat cats. It brings horribly ill luck. After I brewed a broth from our she cat, next day I twisted my ankle in the field. It's clear they speak the truth, saying cats are creatures soaked in foul magic and planning with witches and seek revenge from beyond the grave. Uh, to the thief who was nipping goods out of the pantry, as soon as I put them there, the sausage you took last week I prepared especially for you from the bloated carcass of a mare I found in the muck, rotten eggs, and a handful of larvae. And then spadding it for seasoning and add some other highly personal ingredients. Hope you ate fill. This one. Uh, Jenny of the Woods. This is actually a uh, contract. Some devilry has taken hold of our fields. Something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears on his mother's grave it's like to be Jenny of the Woods. Whether it is or it ain't, be careful not to go out in the fields alone. And most certainly not without scythe or rake in hand. But if you have the courage to drive the foul thing off, you'll receive a handsome reward. Well, I'll take that one. And then that one. is not anything. What level? What level of quest is Jenny of the Woods? Level ten. I'm only level four, so we're not going to do that just yet. So we'll switch that quest back to. Oh, we could do hunting a witch. Hunt the witch on your own, or ask residents of Midcops. Oh, actually, never mind. These two are connected. We'll just leave that as the, the thing. 
I'm gonna go check out this armor. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Um, assuming he means a uh, crossbow, but we're gonna play around with Gwent. How about you take a break from hawking? We play cards instead. All right, let's get rid of that because I have fog. And we'll get rid of uh, torrential rain. So we have to think, does he, is he first row heavy? And if so, I've got the ice for him, but that means I don't want to put my first rows down. So we'll see. Let's put that guy down. Or that lady, Sabrina Glivisig. Oh, he's going to fog me right off the bat. Okay. In that case, we're not going to put old Sheldon Skaggs down anymore. Oh, I do have a clear day. We'll see how it goes. See, he might be screwing himself over more than me. Because I can leave the fog out and also ice it for this first round and ensure my victory. Don't have to ice him just yet. I put this guy down and I ice. I'm just trying to make him waste cards. But put that guy down and ice, and it's not gonna change anything. I'm definitely gonna have to ice that though. Oh, you son of a bitch! Well, that actually helps. This guy down. Hmm. If I fog, it'll drop me down to eighteen. And it'll drop him down to what, sixteen? I think I should fog. Oh, he tied it up. Well, let's see what he does. Nailed it. But he does have one card left. So if my, uh, one attack, well, I'm going to get another card, but if my one attack dude isn't enough to beat whatever card he has, oh no. Let's see what he's got. Ice. Well, I'll still win. That was close, y'all, but I nailed it. safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto yeah, you already told me that. Let me have a look at your stock. He's got more of these. Oh, he's different guys. Yeah, we'll buy those. Not any cards, though. I think what those do is add places of uh, interest onto your map. But we're good. Let's 
we looking at for here? Thread for this gambeson. It's plus 10 armor. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't wear that just yet. But I will be able to in 220 experience. So maybe I should get this spike roof. Or I can just not worry about it and hope I find something better. Yeah, let's do that. But what about dismantling? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about dismantling just yet. There's a thing there. And it's been enhanced. Get guys. Let me out. We'll enhance our armor. There we go. I believe those are like temporary enhancements. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Yeah. So the buying those maps added all this. Uh, this is a lot, <laughs> guys. It's a, it's a fucking oh, there's a there was a thing there, huh? Let's go back up there and check that out. Where's the? There's the signpost. Let's go see what that cave is. Luckily, it had a signpost for fast travel. I'm assuming... Oh. Hello, bear. That was not Quen like I thought it would be. Oh, he didn't like that shit at all. I'm assuming there's like a a trick floorboard or so. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's gotta be arted. Oh, I'm gonna save it. It's been a while. This, uh, this cave's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Just in case. Well, there's stuff up there, but that, that's not down here. Oh, I'll take that. things in here it's like an oddly out of the way thing so I thought I saw more glowing but it might have just been the chest still like after you take stuff from it it fades no I guess that's it is it let's see nope the mountain still, or the uh, the cave indicator is still white. Huh. Did I miss something?
Might have missed something. I'm not seeing anything. This tells me, though, that I probably have to come here for something. It sounds like a bear outside still. Yeah, I guess we're going to end up coming back. Unless there's something... Let's see, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a bear. Yeah, it's another bear. Good. Sure, are a lot of bears here because I'm pretty sure there's another one. While I was in the, the cave, I saw another circle. Or maybe it was just him. Anyway, I guess we're done here. Let's start plinking away at some of these question or the uh, yeah the little points of interest here. We'll hit that one first, but I'll fast travel back to Black Bow for it. Oh, wasn't there a locked chest in here? Yeah. Huh. I wonder if the key is supposed to be down in that uh, that cavern somewhere. Well, like I said, we'll come back. It's on the map, and it's shown as not completed, so I'm sure we'll get back to it. Let's go explore. No, I'm staying here. Slower. That it. Hmm. All the same. It's probably part of the uh, the contract that I don't want to do because it's level ten and I'm level four. Drowners. Oh. All right, buddy. Anybody else? We get these guys. They are guarding treasure. No. Attack him. Good boy. Come here, big guy. Let's do this. Oh, you got friends, huh? Dress over here. Alright. 
I guess it's just this stuff. Uh, worth it, 100%. Not as worth it. Let's read this note, though. Dear Vessi, we couldn't afford to pay for ourselves and Patrick, so we've sent the young lad to you. I know things are tough your way, too, that you've three tanks of your own. So know that if I didn't have to, I'd not ask this of you. But here in Velen, well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Please care for Patrick like your own son. We'll, make, we'll come back for him as soon as the war's over. A thousand thanks, Hannah. P.S. Patrick's got a sack of coin in his bags, enough to pay his guide what we agreed on. You shouldn't have to add anything of your own. P.S. P.P.S. Patrick's afraid of the dark. You can't leave a candle, by, or a candle by his bed. And they say crime doesn't pay. Ha. Never heard greater fucking rubbish in my life. It pays like fucking mad. We took so much loot from that old side that we won't drink it all up in a year's time. Not even if we down Mahakaman spirit like it's water and chase, chase it with dry white from Beauclair. Some might blather the nonsense about the gods punishing us and whatnot, but I'm too old to believe in fairy tales. Well, next step, Novigrad. We'll sell what we took and live like kings. Yeah, that, that clearly didn't happen. Because he did. They're right there. I'm not sure if I have to look at those maps. Anyway, we're done with that. Uh, let's take a look. I don't know how to get to my no well. Yeah, it's just locations. Okay. Speaking of. Moving on to the next one. Oh, different school gear. There we go. So most of these uh, school gears that you're seeing, we get in this, these uh, scavenger hunts, are higher level than me. I think Griffin's school is the lowest. Oh, Viper is, but it's only the weapons. But the Griffin school, I believe, is level 11. That's the lowest one. Let's we'll see what's going on over here. Hey boys. What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food. None. Because of the black ones. Trampled our fields. Raided our granaries. Burnt our orchards. So instead of bread... He'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. Oh, I have deserted guardian. to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Let him go. Oh, sure. And maybe give him some fixings for the journey. Saddle up a horse for him. Black ones showed us no mercy. We show them none in return. Tried it the nice way. Gotta try something different. Come on, boys. Damn. Damn it, push the wrong button. There we go. Boy. Okay, well. Ow. Alright, buddy, me and you. Let's go. You pitch for it. Get out of here. Shit. <laughs> he just died. I guess he was bleeding. Thank you. If you had not come... If I'd not come, only one man would have died. Really going back to your wife? Yes. She bore a child just before the war started. A girl. 
I named her Beatrice after her grandmother. Why? Why did you help me? He always talks about it the, was lesser, the lesser evil. evil. I think that's kind of his thing. Now go, stay off the high roads and give any villages a wide berth until you cross the Aruga. I guess we take this stuff. Even though I said I was gonna stop taking this stuff, it adds up. I'll take that. Though. Now I need to rest. Now we'll go to a dog. Anyway, that's not actually what I came here to do. There isn't any more to pick up there. Okay. Going along the, the water's edge here. A guarded treasure or just a treasure? It's just a treasure. Mulka. I know you don't smuggle no more. Now you've set aside plenty of coin and ain't interested in the risk. Just want to enjoy time with your wife and kitties. But I gotta ask you for a favor. We gotta move one more load, and it's the last, I promise. It's a simple job, a couple of chests, risk minimal, and they're worth substantial. Please do it, if not for the gold, then at least for old time's sake. Well, let's see where that is. If this is right, yeah, it's right there, so let's go grab it. We might end up being drowners, yeah. So we wanna do is one dive. Oh, it doesn't insta-kill him anymore. It does a lot of damage, though. Nailed it. Let's get some breath. Let's go get that other one. Before he pops out and tries to kill me or something. Where is he? Okay, well, if he's down there, then I guess I don't care, because it looks like he's stuck in the rock. There we go. Alright, moving on. 